all know Vegas has some of the best parties. All right, clearly I had a little too much fun there. And now that I'm grown, I'm gonna need a few other things to do. Wait, there's something else to do besides party in Vegas? I'll be the judge. What happens in Vegas doesn't have to stay there. We're giving you a glimpse of what to eat, where to stay, and what to do besides the classic pool party. On World of Travel, Las Vegas. I said I would never, ever be in Vegas again. Somehow I'm in Vegas. Let's start with my top pick for hotel accommodations. Okay, well, let's get going. You think we picked a good hotel? Yeah, it's a great one. The very glamorous Cosmopolitan. There's just an incredible amount of things that are happening here at this hotel. And the majority of our room product offer terraces in just about every room that we have here. Which means when you go to your room or your suite, you get to bring Las Vegas into your suite a little bit. And we know this hotel is super swanky with spacious rooms. But the coolest part are the massive suites that you probably didn't even know existed. Welcome to Bungalow number four. Oh, I'm excited. Look how big this is. A bachelor party, a bachelorette party. As you can see, it's a very sophisticated suite. Mm -hmm. This is actually three levels. Yeah, you heard right. Three levels with a jacuzzi that overlooks Marquee Day Club. If that's too hectic, there's a two floor suite on the other side of the hotel called the Lanai. And it's on the same floor as the spa. And if a view is all that you want, where are we now? We are in our wraparound terrace suites in our Chelsea Tower. Most importantly, we want our guests to have fun. We want our guests to come here. We want them to have a good time. We want them to experience something that they haven't experienced before. We want there to be something unexpected. Like this secret supper club that's not even advertised called Rose Rabbit Live. Raise those glasses, everybody. Listen up. Or the most popular drink on the property that's not on any menu. We're going to make the Verbena cocktail. It's actually the most popular cocktail at the Cosmopolitan. But what makes it so special, it's not on any menu. It's all just word of mouth. The garnish is a Szechuan flower, also known as a buzz button. Um, it's a natural alkaloid that when you eat this little flower, it speeds up your salivary glands and makes you what's called a super taster. Speaking of super tastes, I'm hungry just thinking about my favorite restaurant in Vegas, Bazaar Meat by Jose Andres. So there are a million steakhouses all over Vegas, right? 29. 29, that's close to a 29 million. 29 on the strip, anyway. <laughs> So what makes people come here? So the idea behind Bazaar is same kind of thing. We want just a constant, kind of the experience of walking around a bazaar in the Middle East where you've got some guy charming snakes over here, some guy selling Persian rugs, and there's constant simulation, just all kinds of stuff going on. We try and push uh, people to be family style, tapas style, meaning it's a couple of bites of this, a couple of bites of that. The creator and James Beard award-winning chef Jose Andres is widely regarded as a culinary genius. At Bazaar, you still get the steakhouse feel with tons of small plates to keep your taste buds on edge. Well, we have 108 things on our menu. You ready to enjoy this food? And the cocktails and dessert options just take the whole experience to a new level. If you, if you come in here and you get on board, we will take you on a trip. Now, Bazaar Meat is fancy and pricey, I'm not gonna lie but it's so worth it. If you want something a little more chill, like let's say a yummy buffet, head over to another one of my favorites, Wicked Spoon. This Thank is you. an Welcome. awesome buffet. You guys have like everything. I think uh, Wicked Spoon is a chef-driven concept with globally inspired cuisine at the forefront. Like these duck wings with soy caramel sauce. Uh, the duck wings with soy caramel is definitely one that stands out. You said soy caramel? Soy caramel. That's like mind blowing. Because yep. I love sweet and sour and spicy together. We focus on small plates so you can try a little bit of everything. Literally everything. If you want breakfast, there's that. Crab legs, check. Asian food, yep. And for all the carnivores, just about any kind of meat your heart desires. You want to answer on camera, so it's like I'm talking to somebody. Yes. And don't forget dessert. What is the most popular one of the day? Today is Oreo. But for, uh, for the most part, it's going to be pistachio and mango passion. I'm starting with ice cream. 
cooked on ice cream. Their course is bacon. And finally, what's Vegas without a little magic? <laughs> to be specific, magic reinvented nightly at the Link Hotel with my buddy Matt Franco. I can't even remember not being interested in magic. You know, as far back as my memory goes, I've always been doing it. So I just kind of saw it on TV and stuck with it ever since. If Matt looks super familiar to you, here's why. The winner of the $1 million and the star of the headline show in Las Vegas is Matt Franco! Yep, he's the first magician to ever win America's Got Talent. It's like winning the Super Bowl, it's like winning the Olympics, it's, you know, the Olympics of magic or entertainment. And his skills are still mind-blowing. I saw that man disappear with my own eyes. How did you disappear? Break it down. How did you get it from one side of the room to the other side in two seconds? I mean, I, I just basically went like this, and you didn't see it. <laughs> I just stepped out of frame. No, I, uh, it's magic. It's a show that's cool for the whole family, full of humor, and will leave you questioning everything you thought was impossible. So while the world's biggest adult playground is mostly known for this, and this. There is so much more to see and do in one of the capitals of entertainment and food, also known as Sin City. I, <laughs> Why she asking me girl questions? I didn't paint my nails and we're about to go to Vegas. I look crazy, but I was rushing out the house. But I'm trying to decide, pink or um, Toned down is what this color is called. And then I showed him, this was in my hand, he says this color. This wasn't one of the options. This is a clear overcoat. 